Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from the Java Challengers Initiative. And today we're gonna see a Java Challenger about polymorphism. So this challenger is focused on polymorphism. And as you can see, uh, we are using the class uh, Dracula and the class Alucard is extending Dracula. And we've got here two methods that um, declared on Alucard and Dracula and then here on the main method we are executing those methods and we are also using the name so I'm gonna give you some time to think about the output of this challenger and let me know when you're ready okay guys so let's see uh, the answer with the docker let's see it's gonna be the output -da -da -da. oh yeah congratulations, oh, no. congratulations uh, Ronaldo you're right thank you <laughs> okay, so let's see why it is this answer on this challenger. There are some important concepts here. The first one, obviously, is uh, polymorphism. So as we have Dracula as the parent class, we can instantiate this class type with uh, its child type. That would be a Lucard. And we have also to remember that there is no polymorphism with uh, variable names. So even though we are instantiating with the child class that the value of the name would be a Lucard, the name of the parent class will uh, prevail here. And then Dracula will be printed. And then here, the opposite is gonna happen because here we're gonna have the implementation of uh, polymorphism. So here, on Dracula get name. The name that will be returned here is Alucard. That's because the polymorphism will happen here, okay? So for methods, polymorphism will work, but for attributes, it won't work. So you have to remember that. And on the third line, you have to note that we are using a static method. So a static method, we can also say that it is a class method so it's not an instance method which means that it's not possible to use polymorphism with uh, static methods so what happens here when we have a static method with the same name is a concept called shadowing so the method from dracula will be invoked not the lucard method so that's why the value from Dracula will be printed. So it's because we are declaring our object with Dracula. So even though we are instantiating here, a Lucard, it won't matter. We have just remembered that static is based on class. And as we are declaring Dracula with the Dracula class, it doesn't matter what is the instance because it's not an instance method, it's, it's a class method. So if we just remember that static is always based on classes we will always uh, know what happens with static methods or or static attributes so that's pretty much it for this challenger uh, do you have any questions no i'm good thanks half thank you no i'm good no i'm good uh, i got the 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 tricky from the the static method but i got tricked on the name method the the name variable good one it's uh, some very good co uh, concepts that you, you teach on this one. Congrats. Very good one. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for the content, man. Thanks, guys. So I'm going to just stop share my screen. OK, guys, so that was a challenger about polymorphism. And as you could see, it's not possible to use polymorphism with attributes or static methods. We have to remember that polymorphism will be always focused on behavior and about instances, and of course, about inheritance. Without inheritance, it's impossible to use polymorphism. And yeah, that's the, the essence of this challenger. And if you want to know more, and if you want to get the code, you can go to the link called uh, javachallengers.com. I'm gonna put it here, and you can just access this link. It will be also on the description. So go there, get the code, run your own tests, and then absorb the concepts. And also, if you like the video, please give a like and get subscribed to the channel because on that way, 
you're going to be helping me out to create better videos for you. Okay, so that's it. See you the next challenger.